Hello, it's Philip Taylor speaking from Richmond Green Chambers, and I'm looking today at a book from Spiranus Press. It's in the series that they run gov uh, governing both taxation and uh, European Union employment matters and other international matters. This particular book draw my, drew my attention because it's an interesting area. It's called Tax Arbitrage. It's got a subtitle, The Trawling of the International Tax System, and it's written by uh, Nigel Feetham. This is the front. The back cover is a bit of blurb on the subject. There is our author. Some detail about him there and also some comments. The book's 200 pages. It's quite light. Um, there's a useful little index right at the back, which I found quite helpful. Um, to get to that at the moment. There we go. There's the index there, which you can see. There are some appendices as well the detail but there aren't footnotes and what you've got is effective you've got some nice diagrams which are quite helpful in addition about about the way in which the the systems operate but you've basically got chapter headings so you've got a book here which is very user friendly in terms of reading because you haven't got the footnotes and all the other accoutrements which we in the legal profession are quite used to when it comes to this sort of publication. My wife Elizabeth and I have written a review of this book and we've given it the title Legal Yet Immoral. Here's everything you need to know about tax arbitrage and that's really what Nigel Feetham has been trying to achieve. What we say is this, um, we start with a quote, International tax arbitrage is a form of legitimate tax planning. So declares Nigel Feetham, the author of this really quite enlightening, fascinating and thought-provoking book, which sets out to explain arbitrage, what it is, what it does, and why it has engendered such controversy, particularly in the United Kingdom, even though, like it or not, it's legal. Now, that should get your interest going. As a partner at a leading Gibraltar law firm and visiting professor at Nottingham Law School and also Nottingham Trent University, uh, Professor Feetham is both an international lawyer and an academic. His book is therefore useful if you wish to understand the ins and outs of arbitrage and it's not to be unexpected that he emerges as an extremely competent advocate of the practice. Therefore, Tax arbitrage, in his words, unashamedly is not a technical tax book, nor is it a typical law book. As such, it's much intended for interested laymen and business people as much as it is for tax practitioners and students. As mentioned in the book's introduction, arbitrage is one of those two kinds of international or cross-border tax structuring. We assume that means avoidance. Which and one emanates from the zero tax jurisdictions, commonly termed offshore tax havens, and the other is the tax arbitrage itself, for which there is apparently no single definition, and in which, because of its specialised nature, there are no more than 300 practitioners worldwide. Thetum has therefore set out to demystify tax arbitrage itself, and I think he succeeds. He examined some of the resultant press coverage, including some recent court cases, as well as campaigning uh, by certain pressure groups concerning the tax regimes. He also considers the confusion over the boundary between legality and morality, as well as the difference between avoidance, that's legal, and evasion, illegal, an issue which should be, of course, of great abiding interest to lawyers, accountants and others in the financial services industry. Basically, tax arbitrage, therefore, is a commercial activity that seeks out differences in tax rules in two or more jurisdictions to achieve a tax benefit. The term seems to have originated in the Wall Street Journal in 2006, in which tax arbitrage was described as a system which plays off one nation's tax system against another to reduce the bank's tax bills. Subsequently, the term became rather better known when the post-banking crisis finally emerged, with governments, make that taxpayers, having to bail out financial institutions. Hence the topicality of this well-written book and the interest it will inevitably create. For further research, the book provides useful sources relating to this highly specialised subject, together with the table of cases which it has, some appendices and the short index at the back. 
The publication date was the 1st of March 2011, so we think this work gets the informative legal balance on tax arbitrage just right. So thank you to Spiramus and to uh, Professor Feetum for an excellent work. Bye-bye.